so let, let's talk a little bit about the globalization of basketball. So um, you showed up at the NBA draft and you surprised David Stern on your 30th anniversary of being the number one pick. How hard was it to keep that secret and surprise him out on the stage? Well, the NBA, I mean, they did a fantastic job by keeping it secret because nobody, nobody really knows until I showed up. So they did a great job by, by keeping it secret. So. And that was so much fun. Uh, I cannot imagine not being there. Because when you look at the, when, when we're taking a picture, you know, this is, this is the commissioner with the number one draft choice. So the picture was the first and the last pick of the draft for, for, the, for the commissioner. That picture was powerful when I saw that. I mean, so I think it was a great night. I really enjoyed it. And I'm very, very, very happy that, uh, you know, I made it there. That's great. So, so one of Stern's legacies is that he was able to push the NBA into other parts of the world. What do you think is the next step in terms of the globalization of basketball? Well, I think just, you know, they have to, they have to continue the growth, which is very difficult. Because, I mean, but now we, the new age of the apps, the internet, you know, different, different way of marketing, you know, the China, the China is, you know, just getting started, you know, trying to go to start basketball in India and uh, all the other basketball countries that are new. The Philippines are huge in basketball. Just to make it accessible, where they can watch NBA basketball, they can watch college basketball. And of course, the pros now in the Olympics, the World Games, all these things are giving the global stage for people to see basketball on the highest level. And I think that's really helping. I mean, like the championship, NBA championship was a great series, a true championship series, which was a global audience. And that's what needs to continue to, co to maintain the growth of basketball globally. So you live in the country of Jordan for part of the year. What is it about Jordan that appealed to you well, as a country? Well, a friend of mine was living in Jordan when I visited him, you know, and I fell in love with Jordan, you know, for the, first of all, the, a lot of historic places in Jordan. The weather is like California. And, uh, you know, when I, when I, when I when the, the, the simplicity of the lifestyle, you know, I fell in love with the simplicity. When I, when I, I went there after the season, and uh, I was so surprised that uh, I see kids going to school, walking to school, you know, uh, with that, you know, we're very safe. You know, that was like when, I, when we were growing up, we used to walk to school. Then all of a sudden, I won't let my kids walk to school now. You know, then you see when you're driving down the street, people will wave you down to, to get a ride. I won't give anybody a ride anymore. So I, all these things still exist. And I was very surprised that, wow, this is incredible. Like, this is part of the lifestyle. You can still give somebody a ride and it's safe. You can allow your kids to go to school, walking to school, back with no problem. So the safety area, well, I, I, I was very impressed by that. The weather was incredible. No air condition. Just open the window for the breeze. So I said, oh, well, I want to spend summer here. So I used, to I, used, I used to train in Jordan in the summertime. So I said to myself, once I retire, I'm going to base here and come back to the state every once in a while. So that's what I did. Great. So are they now big basketball fans in Jordan because of you? Well, they love basketball. Basketball is huge there. And in fact, they won the Asian... Uh, about three years ago, they, they, you know, so, but the problem that they have there is size. They don't have big men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have all these guards in between players that's skilled, uh -huh. but no big guy, no seven footers. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to recruit. Exactly. Yeah.